Hey everyone, before I get into this video, I want to remind you to enter our Paper Mario, the Origami King giveaway. To do that, you must comment down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. All right, let's just jump right into it. We are actually talking about, it's a very, it's a very sticky topic, but it's an important one, and it's called toxicity in gaming. Uh, and where it comes from, um, why it happens, and what we can do about it as a gaming community. Because I do firmly believe that it can be fixed. So first off, I just typed literally in, literally just in Google, what is to toxicity in gaming? Just toxicity in gaming. Uh, and here is what came up on the very first result, and it was a Quora result. And it says, um, in regards to video games, what is toxicity? And this first response says, you're playing League of Legends. I picked League just for the sake of example. It could be any game. Um, maybe you're kind of new and you're learning. You're making mistakes. You're getting killed a lot and you're just generally not really pulling your weight. And how could you? You're new to the game. You don't have the benefit of the experience. Your teammates chime in. Get good, noob. Please go kill yourself. You know, destroy your system and never play this again. Insert racial slur. Comment about one's mother. Comment about one's sexuality. The list goes on and on and often gets worse. It's easier to give an example than it is perhaps to put a definition on it. But toxicity is the general spitefulness and intolerance of a gaming community. You see it a lot in heated competitive games, particularly ones where this toxicity has been allowed to grow and fester over a long period of time. Developers are trying to add measures to limit this or at least prevent toxic gamers from being able to spread this malady in the community, but they can only do so much. I don't know how we fix this in the gaming community. Not enough people remember the golden rule. Treat others as you would have them treat you. I hope that helps. Um, you go on down, you know, is where someone starts shouting, blaming others, uh, especially in competitive games. But here's the thing. This is where we're just talking about the impacts of gaming online, uh, voice chat, all that stuff. Um, what about toxicity beyond playing the actual game online? We all know uh, when you play online games and there's voice chat involved, you can hear a lot of obscenities. Uh, it's been the way really since before gaming consoles even really were online. This happened on PC gaming back in the day. So that type of toxicity has always been around and likely will always be around. But there's other forms of toxicity in video game culture. And uh, a lot of it deals with our inability as humans to um, accept that someone else has a different opinion or a different stance on something than we do. And we find the need to need to either attack the person or attack their stance instead of just giving our differing opinion. I always feel like when uh, you're having a healthy debate with someone or a healthy conversation, uh, that it involves each side making their own points uh, to support their own hypothesis. And at the end of the day, uh, the viewers or whoever get to decide, you know, who they agree with more. This happens a lot with the uh, debates I've had with player essence over the, you know, the two debates we've done over the years where people can decide who makes more sense and, and what they believe. But in those debates, I never attack player essence. He never attacks me. We don't go to a personal attacking level. But when you go on Twitter, when you go on Facebook, when you go in the YouTube comment section, you will commonly see people attacking others for having an opinion they don't agree with. I'll throw like a controversial opinion out there. I've tossed this out there before. I really, really like the Super Mario Brothers movie. I like it. I legitimately think it's a good film. I realize that a vast majority of people do not agree with that opinion and that it's kind of controversial. Just like for me, Ocarina of Time isn't even in my top 10 Zelda games, let alone number one. And for a lot of people, they think that's blasphemy from a guy who absolutely loves Zelda games. So it, it, it's, it, it's this crazy world where we have an opinion like that, but then someone feels that they need to attack the person's character or attack the opinion rather than just giving their own reasons that they feel, hey, look, I respect that say uh, that you really like the Super Mario Brothers movie, but here are all the reasons I feel that movie is bad. Here are all the reasons that I feel Ocarina of Time is one of the best games of all time, not, not even in the top 10 Zelda games. Uh, and that's the way the debate should be. It should be both sides providing their own reasonings for why they feel the way they feel. Unfortunately, we as humans have developed this nature to need to belittle others' opinions or belittle others' um, 
as people to make ourselves feel better. Basically, we like to hive mind. We like to gather around uh, places that have like-minded thinking. So we end up with a lot of our friends, right? A lot of people that we would consider our friends often have very similar stances with us, whether it's political, whether you're a left or right or a centrist or whatever, uh, whether, uh, you know, if, if you're really into sports, you're probably going to be friends with a lot of people that like the same sports teams as you and like to talk and debate about the same sports topics, uh, the same video game topics. You're going to generally gather around people that play similar games with you. Uh, and obviously there's the exact opposite that happens. And this is where a lot of toxicity comes in, where we are drawn to, and this happens a lot in the internet age, we get drawn to people that have opinions we vehemently disagree with because we need to let out our aggression. And I feel like this is the brux of toxicity in everything in life, let alone in gaming, is gaming serves a lot of purposes, right? It's an entertainment medium. It's a way for us to escape the world that we're living in. It's a way for us to have fun with friends or by ourselves. Uh, it's just it, it, it's just a, a medium that can serve many purposes. You know, some people view it as an art. Uh, that's fine. There's a, there's a lot of different ways that gaming can impact the human psyche and affect people in positive ways. But one thing that we tend to do in life is we look for a way to release the stresses we have in our life, um, whether it's relationship stress, job stress, and sometimes the stress is simply released by just playing games and having fun. But for some people, that's not enough. They need to release their stresses by attacking others. And they will spend large chunks of their day sitting on their phone, on their computers, on their game consoles, attacking others to build themselves up. This is what happens with bullies in schools. You know, we, we, we all, you know, bullying's bad. We shouldn't bully people. But it happens generally because something's happening that we don't know about with that person that makes them feel like they need to put others down to build themselves up and get confidence in who they are. And that's what happens with toxicity in gaming. Um, we just need to attack the person. We need to attack the opinion. We can't just have reasonable debates a lot of the times in the gaming community. You're online gaming and, like, you know, so, you know some new player or someone with very little experience. Like when I play Fortnite, I have very little experience with it. So, you know, I'm not going to be that good. And, you know, people will just attack me and, and, and tear me down and, and make fun of me as a gamer. Uh, and while I'm able to brush all that stuff off, other people can't. And uh, that begins to affect psyches in negative ways. And so toxicity just really permeates all throughout a lot of mediums. It happens with sports, whether sports fans want to admit it or not. Definitely happens in politics. Definitely happens in, in, in any sort of religious setting. It happens in almost every facet of our lives, from relationships uh, to jobs, you know, everywhere. We, we have this kind of toxicity present in some form. It just seems to be worse in gaming because I think people turn to video games to release that stress. And it feels good to belittle others. It feels good to let out that rage. It feels good to feel like, I really got that person. It feels good when people in the past have made gotcha YouTube videos about me as a YouTuber or as a person uh, being an e-bagger or being this or being that. It made them feel good to make that content. You know, you see a channel out there like The Quartering who loves talking about a lot of controversial topics and he feels good when he talks about a topic that he feels like his opinion and his stance is mightier than anyone else. And this isn't me knocking the quartering down. The point I'm making is that this is human nature. And he actually does it in a lot more respectful way uh, than a lot of others out there do, especially if you've ever played an online game. So the question is, how do we fix it? Um, and I guess the first way to fix any problem is to recognize that there is a problem and then to accept what causes that problem? You know, is my relationship stress or my kid's stress or this stress or that stress leading to me lashing out uh, to people online and um, realizing that there's healthier ways? Maybe we need therapy. Maybe we uh, need to find a good friend that we can lean on and let out all of our uh, issues and just lay it on them instead of taking what maybe pisses us off throughout our daily lives and taking it out on strangers. I think, you know, it's easy to say do unto others as you would have them do unto you, but a lot of us have this crap done unto us, so we just feel it's even more justified to do it unto others. Uh, and I personally think that we need to take individual personal responsibility for our own actions, and that includes the words we say. We always say, you know, actions are more powerful than words, but words are powerful too. 
And the action of saying those words is still an action. So if I belittle someone while playing a game, if I belittle someone in a comment section and, and tear them down as a person and all this stuff, if I do that, there's a little dopamine hitting in my brain to make me feel good about that. And you need to resist the urge to rely on that rush of dopamine to feel happy. Now, I'm not going to get all scientific on you. There's a lot of chemicals in our brain that affect different things. Um, you know, two chemicals in particular that help us with happiness and pleasure and all that's dopamine and serotonin. Serotonin tends to be a more even keel, long lasting form of of, of being in the zone, being happy, whereas dopamine is like a rush. It's a quick hit thing. It never lasts. It always will go away eventually. It's almost like a drug addiction at times. doesn't mean that dopamine's always a bad thing, but because people are addictive in general, um, when you get addicted to something, whether it's drugs, whether it's video games, whether it's just being a hateful person on the internet, because there's a lot of people on the internet that you'll see, they don't say anything but negative stuff all the time. Um, they get a rush of dopamine from all of that. And that rush of dopamine is a high they keep seeking again and again and again. And there's healthier ways to find your happiness, your true happiness, that, that even keel of a mix of dopamine and serotonin and just a, a mix of positive things in your life to be happy about. Uh, so I don't know what else to tell you guys other than we need to take responsibility onto ourselves um, as individuals to self-examine how we treat others, even if those people aren't treating us the best. It's on us individually to rise above that and be respectful. Participate in the conversations. Participate in the debates. But you don't need to argue just have a conversation. If the other person isn't willing to, to have a reasonable conversation, sometimes the best thing to do is just walk away. Let them feel like they had the last laugh. It's okay. Live to fight a, a, another day. And hey, take the stresses you might have and find healthier ways to let it out. Maybe you need to work out. Maybe that's a great way. Take out your aggression on the weights. Take out your aggression on the run. Um, take out your aggression uh, by just playing a game without interacting with other people. Say you want to play online matches, fine. Don't hop in voice chat because you're going to end up subconsciously taking your aggression out on the opponent or on team members. Just take the aggression out on the game itself. That's what it's there for. Take the uh, aggression out. Maybe you need to go scream in a pillow. Maybe you do need to talk to therapy. Maybe you just need a night out with your friends, right? There are lots of other ways that are healthier to take it out that don't impact others and tear them down to build yourself up. I firmly believe tearing others down to build yourself up is a very bad policy. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about toxicity in gaming, your experiences with toxicity in gaming, and what you guys think can be done to fix it. Um, again, it will never be fixed on the whole because this is a societal issue. This is a people issue. We have addictive personalities, and tearing others down to build us, build us up has been around since the dawn of man. Um, so it's not going to go away. But I think we can lessen it um, and create maybe a haven at times uh, for those that don't feel safe to be in certain communities or be, um, you know, it like gaming online. They don't feel safe. Um, like here at Nintendo Prime, I feel like we're fairly inclusive here. Um, and I try my best to not fall susceptible to the sometimes human nature like ways of putting others down to build myself up. Um, I, I don't think I'm any better than anybody else out there. A lot of you guys watching are probably better human beings than I am, if I'm completely honest. Um, that's not to knock myself down. I think I'm pretty awesome. But, hey, you know, I don't think I'm just because I'm awesome that I'm better than anyone. So, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I understand your for Jans from Nintendo Prime. It's been fun having this little chat with you guys, uh, and I'll catch you in the next video.